Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to learn the chapter number 7 that is fractions for class 4 class 7, 5, 6. So let's get started. Introduction. In this chapter, we shall learn about a new kind of numbers called fractions. Fractions are that represent a part of whole. Imagine you have pizza and you want to divide it among four friends. So how much will each one of you get? Each of you will get a part of the whole pizza. And adding all of it together will be you back the pizza. So let's see. Fractions and pizzas. To represent such numbers, we use fraction. In this case, each of you will get one fourth of the pizza. This is called one fourth. Denominator represents the total available entities, where numerator represents the entity of uh, entity that is selected. So, as you can see, this is the one fourth of the pizza. This is one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, and one fourth. Notation. A fraction is usually denoted as A upon B or A, uh, A by B, where A and B are integers and A is called the numerator and B is called as a denominator. So, 2 by 5 means, means a thing that is divided into 5 parts. We take 2 out of those 5 parts. Similarly, 9 by 23 means thing had been divided into 23 parts and we take 9 parts out of 2 by 3. Out of 23 parts. Number line representation. Like integers, we can represent fractions also in terms in terms of number line. For example, to show one one by fifth in a number line, we we first divide the portion between between zero and one into five parts, and then. Take the first part as 1 upon 5 or 1 by 5. Similarly, we can show the similarly we can show the other fraction. Number line representation. So in this picture, you are able to see the number line which is divided into one fifth of the parts. For example, this is one fifth, this is one fifth, this is one fifth. It means one it uh, it means that. Here will be 1 by 5, here will be 2 by 5, here will be 3 by 5, 4 by 5 and 5 by 5. As we know 5 by 5 is 5 and the 5, 5 and the 5. So it, here it will be whole. So this is the uh, number line to represent the fractions. Now we will learn about proper and improper fractions. So, so. A fraction whose value is less than 1 is called a proper fraction. For example, 2 by 3, 5 by 6, etc. In a proper fraction, the numerator is always less than the denominator. A fraction which is greater than 1 is called an improper fraction. For example, 1 upon f uh, 15 by 11, 3 by 2, 9 by, se uh, 9 by, uh, 9 by 7, these are uh, improper fractions. So, in an improper fraction, the denominator is always less than the numerator. So, as you can see, proper fraction and improper fraction. In proper fraction, the numerator is less than denominator and in improper fraction, uh, denominator is less than numerator. Or we can say denominator is the greater than numerator. <laughs> is uh, It means the denominator is less than numerator and numerator is less than denominator. So, so why is improper fractions value is less? So, now let's see. When you perform a act of distri uh, distributing 15 pizzas among 11 people, then the pizza each member will receive is donated using the fractions. 15 by 11. As 15 is greater than 11, each person can be given a whole pizza. This means that 4 remaining four pizzas remaining after each person get whole pizza, get one whole pizza. Now see, these 4 pizzas are shared among 11 people equally with mean that each get 4 by 11. 4 11s 
eleventh of pizza. Now we will learn about the mixed fractions. A combination of a whole and a part is called mixed fraction. Imagine you have three pizzas and you need to divide it amongst two of you. Then, then you get a pizza and then half half of the third pizza. This is written as one one by one integer one by two and called as the mixed fraction. Simplest form. A fraction is said to be in its simplest form if there are no common factors among the denominator and the numerator of the fraction the easiest way to take a fraction into its its, its simplest form is to cancel the common factors from the numerator and one uh, and one after the other. simplest form example a simple simplest form of 12 by 60 is 1 by Five. Now see why it is why is it so? So as we can see here, so now as we see that, uh, why is it so? Because twelve ones are twelve and twelve fives are sixty. So therefore, one by five is the simplest form of twelve by sixty. Simplest form. This simplest form are actually equivalent. They represent the same quantity. For example, three by six and one three by six is equal to one by two. In in each case, we exactly get the same quantity that is half. Now, as you can see, three by six is one by two because as we get three one the three and three two are six. That is why we write this as one by two. Equal fraction. Equal fraction. If we multiply the numerator and denominator of a fraction with the same number, we get equal fractions. For example, 1 by 4 is equal to 1 multiplied by 2, 4 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2 by 8. At simplest form, they two represent the same quantity. As you are able to see that, 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2 and 4 multiplied by 2 is equal to 8. And when we multiply 2 multiplied by 2 again, then we get 4 and 8 multiplied by 2 again, we get 16. But the quantity is, uh, but the quantity will be remain same only. Now our last point is like and unlike fractions. So like and unlike fractions. Fraction with the same denominator are called like fractions else. Else they are called like fractions. For example, 1 by 7, 2 by 7, 4 by 7, etc. are like fractions. Now, where to add 22 by uh, 7, 12 by 24, 2 by 3, etc. are unlike fractions. Now, I hope the concept you have understood very clearly. And I hope that you have liked my video very much. So, please subscribe my channel hit the bell icon and don't forget to pre uh, press the like option in the uh, below the video so thank you very much and bye bye for now